Good morning guys from Flying Flags RV Resort in Solvang, California and Merry Christmas. Yeah, you won't be watching this on Christmas, but it's Christmas for us. Hope you enjoyed our time here in Solvang. It really, it wasn't enough. No, it never is, but especially because we cut our day short yesterday, but yeah. someone's feeling better this morning and yep. we and can then, go on with our days and sometimes yeah. we need a little rest. Especially yep. when we're 102. And also, uh, you know, Christmas Day, you know, a lot of stuff is closed down. And then, you know, that's time to be spent with family. So, yeah, I think we're doing a good job so far of just showing you a bunch of stuff on the Central Coast. But taste. Exactly. But you guys just need to come to the Central Coast of California and just stay longer and, you know, do it at your own pace. So, uh, yeah, the plan for today is to head up to Orchid, Beck's mom's house. We'll driveway surf there for the night uh, and then we'll take off in the morning and head to the coast and I like this idea but we're going to start hitting some of the uh, California state campgrounds right on the beach so we're going to start sharing more outdoorsy type of things mm -hmm. and I'm pretty excited about that because you guys know I'm an outdoors person at heart. You are? Yeah, a little bit. This is good to know. Yeah, after all these years you're finally figuring that out. See you on the road. have arrived and yes the uh, for sale sign was a, a shameless plug for uh, Beck's mom's house that is for sale and it is a beautiful house and I think Shelby just kind of got up on the steering wheel of the focus but yeah since I brought it up this is a beautiful home in Orchid huge uh, two-car garage some fruit trees nice backyard all like single story ranch style so there's uh no stairs to contend with for uh folks that are elderly and shelby totally loves grandma's backyard <laughs> okay let's unleash the chaos in form of a springer spaniel puppy and a beautiful border collie hey guys oh hi how's it going How's my little guy? How's that big guy? Oh, I love dogs. These two are definitely all boy and they play so rough with each other. Jeez. Good morning from Orcutt, California. We are continuing what we started with yesterday's vlog because once we got to mom and grandma's, we celebrated Christmas. Hopefully you had a wonderful Christmas as well. I know we did. And uh, it was a very relaxing afternoon, something we really, really needed and enjoyed. But we're back on the road and continuing our exploration of the Central Coast. Today we're gonna head up to the northern portion of San Luis Obispo County and spend a few days there exploring the coastline. Uh, it's a much different feel up there than it is here. It's a lot less populated. Uh, more of a exploring the beaches, maybe taking some hikes, Ben can do some fishing, a little bit more low-key. Uh, definitely our style and it's truly a part of the country, a part of the Central Coast that we always thoroughly enjoy. But we've made it to the one and we're headed up towards Morro Bay now just past the Cal Poly campus a couple minutes ago and 
I know you guys all know I went to my undergrad uh, there and I used to, I don't know if you know this, I used to drive this highway every single day my first year because I lived in Cayucas when I first started at Cal Poly and uh, that's a little town north of, of Morro Bay that we're going to go through while we're up in this area. A uh, beautiful little town. I loved living there. Here to enter the park. Hi, how are you? Good, how are you doing? Good. Do you have vacancies for two nights? Uh, we can only do one night at a time because we are 100 percent reservation, so I don't know what reservations are coming in tomorrow. So So could I make if you can't make a reservation, you have to do it 48 hours in advance. So the entire campground is reservation based. There seems to be a lot of misinformation on the internet about the reservation system for California state parks and how much of it is you know, reservation versus not, and when it is, and all. it's just so confusing on the internet. So we want to be really clear, year-round, it's 100% reservation system for all of the California State Park campgrounds. Yeah. And so don't believe anything you read on the internet, because we made that mistake, and that's why we didn't make reservations for here. We have to wait until tomorrow at 9.30 a.m. to go back and see if there's going to be this site or, or any another site. site available for us yeah. to camp in tomorrow night. But this reservation system, guys, I totally get it. But to go 100% on the reservation system kills the spirit of travel doesn't leave room for any spontaneity and then making it difficult to even stay multiple nights you need to encourage travel and leave 10 percent you know a couple of the really choice sites and a couple of the you know Not secondary so sites but 10 percent for the spirit of travel flying by the seat of our pants again here we go we actually decided to check out of the state campground uh, ben got onto the reservation system and realized that tonight would be the only night we could stay. Uh, we wouldn't be able to stay the other nights we wanted to be here. And while he was doing that, I had done some research about other RV parks that we might be able to stay at if that were the case. And I found a place very nearby that we could stay at for the same price as just the camper at the state park. They don't charge for the extra vehicle, still get full hookups, and they had availability for all four nights. So they gave us a refund at the state park, which was great. We appreciated that. Uh, and now we're headed over to the RV park. It is partly because of the convenience factor for us, being able to stay in one place for four nights, put everything out, settle in, plug in, and live, right? Okay guys, here's our campsite at Morrow Dunes RV Park. It's cheaper than the state campground, and uh, we even have a fire ring, and we don't have to move for four nights, which is great. Uh, we're in an area where there's gonna be a lot of outdoor activities. We can go fishing on the beach here and hopefully catch some perch. I know way back when I used to uh, fish for white sea bass, there's kind of like an culvert for lack of a, another word like a water outlet i think it might even be like for the power plant that is behind us but uh striper and white sea bass used to hang out there so sorry about the uh kind of gripe session today but i think if you've been following our channel long enough you, you almost respect us for giving it to you straight not sugarcoating and sharing the real deal and this is it, but we're here, we're gonna have fun. I'm gonna send the drone up and we're done and we will see you tomorrow.